Hey everyone, it's Mr. Flying Big HD here with another video. This is my sort of transfer roundup for United fans. Or, you know, other people who want to know how United fans feel. Okay, so we paid £4 million more than Marouan Fellaini's release clause that he had in his contract. PPP, PPP. Piss poor planning, piss poor performance. David Moyes. Edward Wood. You know, basically what's happened is uh, we tried to get Fabregas, our first initial primary target. That failed because of low-balling bids, if you ask me. Did we really want to sign him? I don't know, but we, we certainly could have done with him. He, that was an unrealistic one anyway, because he wants to stay at Barca. Then we try and get some Ander Herrera, 24-year-old playmaker no fuck has ever heard of over here, you know? Um, that didn't that didn't go through uh, because we were unwilling to meet the release clause, which was like three, you know, we were offering like a few million euros less. So, you know, sounds pretty piss poor from that perspective as well. Uh, and then at the last minute, you know, obviously, I don't know if there was a bid in for us or it's, I heard there was, but it, nothing seems to ma have materialised out of it. There were no talks unless uh, Urza just said, no, I don't want to play for you. And uh, went to Arsenal happily, which is absolutely fair enough. If he wants to play for Arsenal, Arsenal are a good team. There's Germans there. Wenger's there, you know, more of a, a continental style manager. So, yeah, I can understand that. But all that basically means is that Man United left it to literally the last possible second uh, or the last hour and David Moyes was like oh shit I can't sign the players I wanted so let's go for plan D and get Marouane Fellaini uh, a defensive midfielder you know and don't get me wrong he's a good player but surely if you wanted if you wanted Fellaini if he was part of your initial plans for the summer you'd have got him when the transfer window opened for his release clause 23 and a half million not for 27 and a half million right at the end of the window because you just planned everything absolutely piss poorly and not manage to secure your initial targets. So that pisses me off, to be honest with you. But, you know, it could be worse. We've still got a good team. I'm thinking what he's going to be playing then in midfield is like Fellaini and Carrick as like almost two holding midfielders, but allowing Carrick to get forward a bit more and, and spray the ball out and be a bit more creative. Uh, because obviously Carrick's usually like the holding midfielder. I think he still will do that, but I think now he'll be playing, uh, you know, a bit more forward. And with the likes of Rooney or Kagawa in behind the strikers. You know, that's what I'd like to see anyway. But whether or not that's, that's going to happen because for some reason Moyes hasn't played Kagawa yet. Um, and Rooney's injured for a little while. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what he does. I think Marin Fellaini is going to get thrust right in there. He can also play it in uh, centre attacking midfield. So, you know, but he's a better defensive player if you ask me. Now... <sighs> Now that pisses me off. We didn't we didn't get anybody else apart from that Varenga guy at the start of the window. Oh, and some little like 17-year-old kitty for like 700k or something we got. The Fabio Quantra deal never materialised. I love a last-minute.com last deal. Uh, piss poor. What can you do, you know? You got like uh, Everton going out there, getting Lukaku on loan and uh, getting some good players. You know, that was all last minute. So they had a good window. Arsenal got Ozil, you know, on the, on the transfer window deadline day. So... Good day for them, you know, good good window for them because they've improved the squad with a world-class player and got a couple of free transfers, so pretty sure Arsenal fans will be happy. What do you think, Arsenal fans? Are you happy? Write down below if you're happy with that window or did you want to see more players? Or I'm pretty sure you'd be happy with that, to be honest with you, because you've got a good team anyway. In fact, oh, just that, that trio in midfield, I don't know how they'll use them, but the trio in midfield, obviously a team has to be balanced, but Cazorla, Wilshere, and now Urza, that sounds like a midfield trio of pure rape. They're going to be doing some uh, some fucking rapes <laughs> in the Premier League, probably. Uh, depends how it all pans out, but that does sound like a trio of rape there. Now, Chelsea, obviously, uh, you know, they didn't really uh, strengthen on the last day because because Jose Mourinho already got all the people he wanted. You know, Sam Eletta was the last one they got, good signing. So, uh, yeah. Fantastic, and it's just one of those things, you know, a bit of a bad window. Do we need to strengthen in January if there's a player available? That's the thing we don't want to... What I didn't like to see, what I didn't like about this window is that Moisey, before this all happened with Bellini and everything, said, well, our, our squad is strong enough. I'm only going to, you know, buy quality players. We're interested in the top quality players. Now, Bellini's a good player, but he's not a top quality player. Uh, he's basically his plan C or D, you know? He wanted somebody like Fabregas, someone like Schweinsteiger. These things never materialised. Where was the bid for Modric? You know, 
did we even have talks with Real Madrid about signing Modric or, or not? Because that just seems to me like a, a blatant, that should have been a, a bid. So that pisses me off, right? Uh, I've got six aside in about half an hour. So I'm going to go and uh, cough up a lung and possibly have a wheezing heart attack. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Take it easy.